it down to business then. Shabani Sarkar Korean from Kotak Mahindra AMC joins us on the show now. Shabani, it's absolutely outstanding, right? Uh, you know, the way the markets recovered after election day yesterday, perhaps there was a little bit of a wobble maybe for one hour or so when the markets fell 500 points in the Nifty. But after that, it recovered and it's holding. Uh, and we keep going back to that example in 2018 when there was the first increase in LTCG. Uh, markets did correct, not on the day, but with a lag, there was a correction seen in the markets. Do you think, you know, how would you read the, you know, the near term for the markets now post the budget? Uh, hi and good morning. Uh, so yes, uh, you know, if you look at the budget, there are lots of positives that the market is taking away. I think the biggest positive that has come through from our perspective is that the fiscal consolidation priority continues to be uh, maintained. And if you look at a consolidated fiscal deficit, which is both at the center as well as at the state, uh, the number seems to be coming down and going into FI26 with a 4.5% central fiscal deficit expected, that number is likely to come down further. So that bodes well from both a borrowing perspective as well as with hopes of uh, a rating upgrade because a lot of the uh, external rating agencies look at debt to GDP ratios as well as consolidated fiscal deficit. So I think that's one big positive from a budget which the market is possibly taking on board. The second factor is that the budget does a balancing act between both investments as well as spurring some amount of mass consumption with some of the tax changes that have been brought about as well as the fact that if you look at on an overall basis with both on budget as well as the IEBR expenses in terms of capital expenditure, the growth seems to be fairly strong over the revised numbers for FI24. So I think that's another key factor that the market is looking at. Of course, uh, you know, from a near term perspective, I think uh, the uh, tax changes, especially by long-term capital gains as short-term capital gains as well as STT, that's some a bit of a dampener for the market. However, remember, uh, there have been tax changes across all other asset classes as well. And if you look at, if one has to look at a silver lining, uh, the tenor for long-term capital gains tax has not been changed, and that's still one year. From a market perspective, in the short term, I think market just goes back to focusing on earnings delivery. We are in the middle of the first quarter earnings season and so far numbers have been somewhat muted if you look at uh, the overall aspect especially because of omcs as well as metals but x of that numbers have been largely in line with estimates so i think now it's back to business as usual looking at earnings and valuations now that the policy direction has been set by the budget all right uh, fair enough so those are opening thoughts and your take on the budget shibani uh, let me just draw your attention to this constant selling in banks, right? Now, just we're just trying to figure out whether there's anything additional in the budget yesterday that's compounding the selling or whether it's banks reeling under their own known issues, right? We know de deposit mobilization has been difficult. Uh, and I don't know if this 12.5% LTCG, whether that's going to make people, you know, leave their money in the bank deposit and not put it in the market. That seems highly unlikely, right? But just your sense, because the selling is quite, uh, quite excessive. And this result season hasn't exactly, uh, you know, thrown up uh, too many uh, positive, positive or sort of bright points with respect to banks. So absolutely, Sylvie. I think the biggest uh, factor to monitor where banks are concerned is the pace of deposit mobilization. Banks, as you know, over the last few quarters have seen pressure on net interest margins, primarily because cost of deposits have been rising. And there's also been repricing of the past deposits, which has led to this pressure that we have seen in terms of margins. Deposit accretion does continue to lag credit growth. And I think that at the margin, we have to take that into account when we are looking at the overall earnings as well as return ratios for the banking system. Now, if you look at last few quarters, there has been some uptick in terms of deposit mobilization, but it is still uh, not enough. And therefore, the expectation is that the credit deposit ratios for banks would possibly moderate, which will have a bearing on margins. However, on the positive side, when you look at the cost of deposits, cost of deposits seem to be largely stabilizing. Banks are now looking at better productivity in terms of their own branch network to raise uh, liabilities and not just looking at the cost front. So from that perspective, I think margins should start to stabilize over the next few quarters. If you look at the large private banks, uh, the large private banks are still holding up in terms of both their ROA, ROE profile. Uh, margins seem to be, again, as I said, possibly bottoming out and valuations are in your favor. 
So in the entire BFSI pack, we think that some of the larger private banks seem to be well placed, specifically with respect to their valuation as well as return ratios and risk reward are, is in your favor at this point in time. But we'll have to wait and see for the next one or two quarters in terms of the margin trajectory for some of the re-rating to possibly start. And of course, the ownership level across most of the large private banks is high, specifically where some of the domestics are concerned. And even the FII ownership, while it has come down, still remains high. And that could be another reason, which which is why you know the sector has seen the kind of pressure that it uh, continues to see. Uh, any other changes that you would recommend in your portfolio? You have to keep rebalancing your portfolio. Some things come in, some things go out. Um, so take us through the changes for the next six months, which is the sector which, according to you, might lead. You spoke about financials in details, but outside of that. Yes, so, uh, you know, there are two sectors that we are incrementally evaluating <coughs> where, again, we believe that risk reward is in your favor. One, uh, you alluded to the consumption space. Of course, you know, the big bang uh, expectations that, uh, you know, we went in in terms of the budget providing a lot of support to the consumption sector. Maybe some of that has not played out. But if you look at the fine print, there is adequate support which is being given to the middle class and to the rural segments in order to spur consumption. That, along with the fact that monsoons have been fairly normal as of now. And at the margin, we do expect that agri, especially the Kharif output, should be a good one, uh, along with uh, you know input cost pressures coming down, which would mean that the rural wages, especially on the real rural wage perspective, should start to improve. And therefore, if you look at uh, consumption, especially with respect to valuations and their history, that sector looks to be fairly well placed. So that's one segment that we you know, incrementally are positive on. Banks we already spoke about. And the third aspect that, you know, where risk reward seems to be your, in your favor, especially where valuations are concerned, is possibly the large cap tech name. Again, the commentary uh, from the most of the companies that have reported numbers seems to suggest that a lot of the pressure that you are seeing, especially on terms of discretionary de uh, demand spends uh, on the BFSI space in particular seems to be bottoming out. North America is seeing some revival, which is also the, what the commentary seems to suggest. And therefore, that's the other sector that we are evaluating. So, IT, uh, consumption, and overall on bank banks, you're not trimming positions, uh, despite all the concerns you laid out, right, Shivani? What's the overall stance on banks? So, banks, uh, Surbi, we are positive, especially specifically on the larger private banks where we think that okay. you know valuations are in your favor so the large cap private banks is where we are positive okay. thank you great conversation shibani we look forward to the next one get into a break on that note but uh, you know getting incrementally bullish in technology gives us our cue to invite the management of zensar tech which reported their numbers recently good top line growth of more than 4% we'll discuss the way forward with manish tandon on the other side Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18. For all our top stories and news updates, follow us on our social media platforms.